Three households with three dinner dilemmas, one celebrity chef. It's been there, done this with Chef Jeffrey Saad. So this is kind of like an expanded version of pork and beans. So I know your mom's a good cook, right? And you have a lot of good meals? Yeah, ah, I know she is, but we're gonna expand that comfort zone, you know? Okay. Cooking's like anything else. Once you do it a couple times, it becomes another easy dish that your family can enjoy. Okay. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is get the pan hot. That's really important because if the pan's hot, then the pork will get nice and seared and be really colorful and delicious, right? Now you got a pork tenderloin, which is a really healthy, lean cut of the pork, but it also absorbs the, the juice of the beans really well, so it's delicious. All right, so we're gonna season it. What's that? You're making me hungry. Uh, that's the goal, right? We're just gonna grab some salt, we're just gonna sprinkle it. You wanna do a nice, even coating of salt like that. So we're gonna give this a little turn. Fresh ground pepper's always great. All right, salt and pepper make every cut of meat taste better. If you got good meat and salt and pepper, you're already most of the way there, right? So we're gonna set that in. And then I just move it around, and it's not a bad idea to use tongs. Keep your hands safe. All right, so we're gonna finish cutting these up real quick. So we got our apples cut now. I need your help with the rosemary. Here's a trick, ready? kind of thin at the top. Hold it right about there and just slide those leaves off. Perfect, here it is, ta-da, perfect. All right, let's check our pork. See how it's starting to get a little smoke? We're gonna mop the pan a little bit. You see that beautiful color? That's what, it, that's the flavor. When you get that color, you get great flavor. All right, so now we're gonna throw the apples in. So we're taking advantage of the whole pan that we gave the pork a head start to get some color and then we'll chop up this rosemary. And that releases the flavor in the rosemary. Exactly, yep. The oils come out and that's what makes it delicious. This is a, this is a new flavor of beans and I love it because there's a little tomato in there, but it's a little smoky, hickory, sweet flavor from brown sugar, so it's like its own natural sauce and it's perfect with pork. I'm good with a knife, I'm not so good with can opener sometimes. <laughs> so we're gonna pour those in and see that beautiful sauce, bright red, a little sweet with the brown sugar. This is the star. This is what's gonna make it all come together. And then what I like to do is just a little bit of water. Kind of rinse out the can and get all the, the flavor in there. Was that hard? No. That was easy, right? And there we go. Now it goes into the oven, and when it comes out, slice it up, and we'll be ready for dinner. Oh, we gotta get our rosemary in there. How long does it stay in the oven? You want it to go to about 140 degrees, the meat. That's when it's perfectly cooked, about 15 minutes. About 15 minutes. Good job. There we go. Beautiful. So you guys have been there with pizza. Now that you've done this, what do you think? It's delicious. Yeah. 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 Way better than pizza. That's the goal. Way better. You're doing well.